Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Certification Training. In this lesson, we're going to talk about overview of Microsoft Teams admin roles. Microsoft 365 provides a variety of pre-configured administrative role groups so that selected users can receive elevated access to administrative tasks within the Office 365 services. The role groups are assigned through different portals, such as Microsoft 365 Admin Center, the Security and Compliance Center, the Azure Portal, and PowerShell. Several administrative roles have full control to all the team services and settings, such as the global administrator and the team's admin. Other roles only provide access to certain part of Microsoft Teams for performing recurring tasks, such as troubleshooting call quality problems and managing telephony settings. The specialized Teams admin roles are Teams admin, Teams Communication Administrator, Teams Communication Support Engineer, and Teams Communication Support Specialist. Please note that if the team consists of different workload from Office 365, the team specific administrator role does not grant permission to other services, such as Exchange Online or SharePoint Online. So let's look into the task that each role can perform, as well as the tools the administrators can use in the Microsoft Teams Admin Center and in PowerShell. So the Teams Admin, formerly known as Team Service Administrator, can manage the team service and manage and create Microsoft 365 Group. So everything in Microsoft Teams Admin Center and associated PowerShell controls, including manage meetings, manage voice, manage messaging, and all org-wide settings can be managed by this user. Wherein Teams Communication Administrator can manage calling and meeting features within the team service. Teams Communication Support Engineer can troubleshoot communication issues within the teams by using advanced tools. This user will be able to view user profile page and troubleshoot user call quality problems using advanced troubleshooting tool sets. And finally, the team's communication support specialist can troubleshoot communication issues within teams by using basic tools. So that means access user profile page for troubleshooting call, in-call analysis, can only view user information for a specific user being searched for. Please note that the team service administrator role in the Azure portal is the same role as Teams admin in the Microsoft 365 admin center. So if you assign the role to a member in the Azure portal, you can also see that it is in the Microsoft 365 admin center as well and vice versa. Now that we have understood the various types of Teams admin roles, in the next lesson, we are going to learn about overview of Azure Active Directory and how Azure Active Directory is related to this Microsoft Teams. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.